Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Second and Setsu 3 Hard Type. My name is Natal20, and I am once again joined by Cool Guy. Still talking to the chick. God, it really likes you. <laughs> so, after the last episode, where we had this climactic duel with Bill and Ben, and we used literally everything, we just about eked out a win, we got here, ready to buy items, and then I forgot to save state. Because I'm a genius. So that meant that I had to redo the Bill and Ben fight again, and as my inventory will show, I didn't use a single angel grail. Or the shuriken that, uh, that I that I threw out of spite. Yep. So we're in a slightly better state than when we left the game last time. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but now, uh... oh, we don't sell mode. mode. Why are you in cell mode? I'm in Selma because we got given a uh, demon statue last time, I think. We did, yeah, yep. yeah. The um, beating Genova gives you one of those. And that's just more money, and we need money. <laughs> we always yeah, need money. Yeah, we are, we are, we are still, uh, still looking at eating our newspapers. It's a Newsies reference. Yeah, good one. There we go. Right. So. Uh, We've been trying to chat about the items that we need to buy, and I think that I need to get the White Eagle plate because that, yeah, because that gives petrified resistance. Yeah, petrified yeah. resistance, and that's huge for us. Uh, and my doorbell is going off. Give me one second, sorry. Awesome. he could have done was to hit B, so I, I can I can shop for myself. Remember. Well, this is this is now an impromptu stand up uh, stand up session. I just recently got I got my got my dog groomed after you know delaying on it for about three weeks. He's he's a uh, he's a freaking Australian Shepherd with some husky in him, so. He's, like, super uncomfortable where I am in Kansas City. It's, like, really humid and everything. And naturally, the day that I finally get I get him groomed, it's, like, this massive down, uh, downpour with, you know, like, what, what was it yesterday? Like, four, uh, 48 degrees Fahrenheit. And, you know, so it's it's cold as shit rain. He loves to be, uh, to be outside, so he comes home looking like an overgrown teddy bear. And it's raining like crazy. I kick him out outside, outside so he can do his business. The first thing he does is like look look outside for a long moment, and look back forlornly, just like Dad, can you can, can you turn this off? I'm just like, no, buddy, no, there is no turning that off. <laughs> it's one, <laughs> one of the saddest moments I've ever had with that dog. Poor dog. Oh, it must be horrible. It's, uh, it's, it's sunnier today, so he's a hundred times more comfortable, but, you know, that's not really a surprise with, uh, with Kansas weather. If you don't like it, just wait a day, it'll change. Fair enough. Alright, so I've got the doorbell, and I have managed to buy the one thing that I think we need to buy. Is there anything else that's important that you remember, cool guy? Because I don't remember anything else that we desperately need. I don't remember, an, uh, anything of my, uh, of my... Uh, equipment. So uh, the the only thing I, I was really interested in was making uh, making sure that I had a gauntlet for for petrify resistance as well. I remember looking at my at my own um, armor and seeing yeah no I don't see anything there. Yeah. Uh, we also we should also give, uh, grab you um, a plus evasion ring because the ghost ship is going is going to be quite a thing. You're right. Which one is the one that gives plus evasion, then? Le leather neckband, the one I'm wearing. Got it. Oh, that's I'll... an accessory, not a, not a thing. Of course. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna need to go, to go to the next shop over. That we are. So, let's go along. No, this is the inn. Where's the actual shop? I don't uh... know. Yeah? That's the weapon shop. It's the weapons shop. Well, do we We're need extra game. weapons? I forget. No, we bought. We actually bought out the weapons beforehand. So I mean, maybe if he's got something else that's new and interesting. Oh, he does. He does, as a matter of fact. Yep. Yeah, so I don't know what those do. 
Okay, well, let's see. The Misery Chord uh, reduces the STR factor and gives you a higher base attack. I have no idea what that means. Oh, oh, I actually, I actually have a general idea of what of what that means. Um, the um, Praetorius mentioned this in one of our in in one of the comments on one of our videos that people actually gain raw attack power when they level up now, so you don't necessarily have to pump strength to, uh, to have them be anything more, uh, more than completely useless. And that uh, something that is trading base attack for strength attack means that it will be better for people with low strength and worse for people with high strength. I see. Okay. You and I both have been fairly diligent about raising our strength, so we probably don't want to mess with that. Yep, I think that's fair. There's something called a katar here, which is one of your weapons, I think. Right, so that doubles the rate at which you gain tech gauge. Yes, please, give me that. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, I, al I already build gauge really quickly, so yes, please and thank you. Uh, and I wonder if there's anything for Angela and myself. Angela has the same thing as well. And she also has something that means that she can attack using a different stat, apparently. So she'd use vitality as opposed to strength, I think. Or that luck as opposed to strength. That would be very helpful um, if we can afford it. But I doubt that we can and also, uh, also afford a gauntlet. You're right. I think we have a gauntlet somewhere. So let's check. Yeah, let's double check. Oh, I went into the wrong screen. Every time. So. Okay, so you've got a gauntlet that you can pass to me, if nothing else. Yep. I, I don't think that should be a problem, then. Okay, great. Yeah, then if, if we can get Angela attacking with her vitality instead of her strength, that would be fantastic because uh, because we can uh, we can then focus on her uh, physical defense. You're right. So Angela's thing that does that is the Mithril Rod, I think. Ah, it might not be available. Actually, is it? I don't know. It might not be available. Go, uh, go, go over to the go over to the staves. This guy has. I'm curious. Yep. It's called. Actually, no. It's called the Soul Rod or Var Varshu stuff. I think. So I'm looking at this spreadsheet. It's quite hard to read. Yeah. Soul Rod. Okay. It's okay. Both both of those staves are just out of our price range right now. I uh, imagine at some point when we get enough gold, I'll go just go on a giant shopping trip and buy everything that we need. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to worry about it too uh, too much for now. It's not like she uh, she does a whole lot of physical attacking anyway. Yep. And there is one other thing that we need to do, which is go to the item shop to buy uh, a resupply, basically, uh, or sure. honey drinks and all that kind of stuff. Not honey drinks. Round drops and pecan chocolates. Yes, those. So bear in mind, guys, we had something like 39, sorry, 29 of those when we first started the Rolati attack. Yep, and now, now we're entering a part, a part of the game where uh, it's pretty much constant combat from, from here on in. Yeah, it's going to be... Be sure to grab some item seeds too, homie. Yeah, I will do. Uh, Mount Magic Walnuts, item seeds... We probably have enough of those. Yeah, grab some more Stardust Herbs. There we go. And we're back to rooting around on the couch for change. Whatever. We've been there before. Fortunately, the next trip that we take... Well, I don't know. It might be. Oh, you might want to do one thing, actually. I might want yeah, to do it you, for you. Yeah, pa uh, pass me the gauntlet so I can... Uh, so I can... Do, uh, do my equipping. Yes, I will do that. This is such an odd system. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it, it's re it's really unfortunate that Pretorius didn't, uh, didn't have more control over the UI. It's pretty odd. Like, I mean, I am a big fan of the of the like overall vision he had that he has for the game. It 
it makes for a fantastic what amounts to a new game plus, but there's just so much uh, so much more going on that it's really di uh, difficult to to um, communicate at all. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna replace your scale mail and. Uh, not yet. I'll want to replace it when we get to Buku, but we can't be petrified on the boat, so that's not oh, a problem okay. for us at the moment. And you'll want to have the guitar. I want my guitar, yeah. Ooh, that increases my uh, my base attack, too. This is gonna rule. I think it might mean that you attack slightly slower as compensation, but if you're getting double tech aid and you have a full screen tech, it doesn't really matter This that is a much. free ride. Yeah, no, that's not suspicious at all. No, it's completely fine. Now, in fairness, young me didn't realize that there was something I missed here. I was like, "Oh, cool, free ride. That seems fine." You hadn't heard. Uh, you hadn't heard "No Rest for the Wicked" by Cage, Cage the Elephant yet, huh? <laughs> Money don't grow on trees. We got bills to pay. We got mouths to feed. There ain't nothing in this world for free. <laughs> Wait, why are we circling this island? I don't know. I don't know, the, 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 the ship's captain just decided he wanted to take the scenic route. <clears throat> and he's like, I really like this island with this conspicuous volcano here. <laughs> I like the fact that there's running lights in the damn thing. It's a really nice effect, isn't it? <laughs> it, it it's even funnier con uh, considering that, you know, this is a ship of the damned. <laughs> and finally, after two days, the party realizes that there's probably something wrong. Oh wait, no they don't, they're just asleep. It's actually really hard to sleep on a ship, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm I'm surprised that they're they're able to uh, handle that as well as they are. What's happening? Oh no! Oh yeah! Please, it's definitely what you're thinking. I mean, all of the all of the cracked columns and everything. That was a clue. Yep. Wonder if we can have tea. Wait a minute. Hold on. As I recall, the devils might have been strong against... No, that's spirits. Spirits are strong against magic. Not magic, against physical deaths. Yeah, the, these, guy, these guys have uh, physical resistance on them, so we do have damage. Ah, okay, well, we have Angela, and that's the important part. And she can blast them she with She also has time. Earthquake, I notice. Oh yeah, she does. Should we show people that? Yeah, we might as well. That looks fun. <laughs> Rocks fall, zombies die. Angela? Okay. Since she's now in a set oh. <laughs> Damn it, Angela, don't be stuck behind a wall. There we go. Pathfinding! Uh-oh. Oh, god damn it, Angela. There we go, now I can cast with you. Finally! God damn, alright. Yeah, it's a great idea to use fire on a wooden ship. <laughs> Sometimes zombies are weak to fire. That's a thing some in Final Fantasy at least. Well, no better or no worse. Beat him up. Oh man, that poor sucker didn't stand a chance. 
He did not. And here we go. Well, that might be useful one time and never. I don't recall a single time uh, where I've used a magical rope in this game. The one time it would be useful, Watts uses it on your behalf. Yeah, that's exactly right, isn't it? Gonna have a bad time. Alright, great. Okay, it's this guy. Yeah, just because the game's so generous with anarchy generation, I, I'm liberally going to use spells with Angela now. Well, partic particularly when uh, when you okay, great victory. I'll, I'm fine with that. Yep. Hold on. What's this say? All oh, right, yeah. Blood, death, curses, death. Ow. Good one. Damn rubber doors. Uh, sure. I think this is a trap. I was right. Yep. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it become it becomes a uh, a safe spot to rest after you after you deal with the trap, though. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, fireball, screw it. It's fine, they can't attack us through these beds. Who knew? The, the number th one thing to do in zombie apocalypse scenarios is hide in bed. Come on, flying swallow toss. There you go. Oh god. Please don't kill me. <laughs> this is happening. I'm gonna keep doing this because they can't hurt me this way. <laughs> it's fine, I got it. Okay, him. there we go. Alright, now if we walk out and walk back in, I'm pretty sure we get we get a full rest. Or not. Oh, wait, no. Okay, so I'm, again, misremember- uh, misremembering specifics. Well, that be- that being the case, I need a pecan chocolate. There we go, and I will probably need another round drop, actually. I need to find the damn library in here and forget where it is. So do I, actually. <laughs> uh, I do not remember much about the ghost ship. It is... It's one of those things that, pe that people like to block out of their memories be uh, because ev everybody, at least at one point, has done a run where you didn't have Angela and the boss here is a complete nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Bastard, get out of my way. Absolutely horrible is that boss. I mean, it's if you don't have Angela and you don't have Carly. Yeah, Carly is an, another one that, that'll help, but if you don't have have either one of the, one of those, it's it's like trying to pursue Lou Boo. You're gonna have a bad time. What a jerk. You're loving this tech age fell, by the way. Uh yeah. P.S. Have more knives in your face. All right. Have we checked all all of these all of these side rooms here? Uh, I think there's an enemy behind us. But we need to go first, and we'll get a victory. Yeah, let's get let's get a victory so we don't have to deal with, uh, deal with refighting this room eighteen times. Oh come on! Where's our victory? It's because sometimes enemies can just randomly spawn behind you. I don't know why. They can. Uh, just take it out of the missile. Yeah, shocked face. Now go away. Okay, wonderful. No chest. Oh, come on, guys. It's not fair at all. Okay. Uh, in this room, maybe? Sure, fine. No. Nope. 
<laughs> None of that. Oh, maybe that's him. where we came up from, isn't it? No, didn't we come up from down here? Well, that never mind. Better question or be a better statement. Haven't we? Uh, haven't we been down that uh, that road yet? Or did we come up from over here? I don't know anymore. All right. Bloody ghost ship. <laughs> Sid Meier's Pirates the Saint. I have been playing Corsair Man of War though, and that that game that game is that game is, is pretty fun if you can if you can forgive the outrageously lo-fi graphics and janky as hell animations. I find I can do that pretty easily. There are some people who really can't get past that, though. It, like, I, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking, this is 2001 level. It's, it's hilariously bad. But, that's, uh, that said, engaging in ship-to-ship -ship combat with, uh, with a Skaven submarine, I mean, that's, that's something you're not getting anywhere else. Oh yeah, I got them both. Hey, right, okay. So I know for certain now Angela has enough intelligence to be able to do everything she needs to. And it's just a matter of getting all the spirits now to be able to get at everything. So I'm just going to give her vitality and spirit, just so she doesn't die as much. Yep, she's been doing a fair bit of dying, so... Nah, no, not agility, not agility. <laughs> Oh, Make yeah. yourself a liar almost instantly, why don't you? All right, so let's fix a couple of these things. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Oh, cool. Um, I've got enough intelligence and luck to do all the things I need to do. Um. I'm torn between uh, between agility and spirit, because holy dong nut am I taking a lot of magic damage. I think I'll go spirit for now. Uh, so... I might need to raise my piety one more point. Piety, spirit. It's called piety in certain translations, I'm sure. That's me. I mean, have you have you looked at the, uh, at the... Um, symbol for it. It starts with P with P I E. Yeah, it's it's piety in the uh, in the original in the original um, Japanese, but it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in terms of the English translation. So it's a uh, literalist okay. thing. I will just pump more strength, I think, because I have enough spirit to be able to learn all the abilities I want. Yes, I probably needed that. <laughs> yeah, you you were flashing yellow, yellow. There was no probably about it. Okay. Okay, so... Blood. Death. Death. Curses. Death. Right, okay. So, this part of the game means that you lose one character. Uh, for the rest of the ghost ship. Now... As it turns out, Hawk and Angela are going to be very good against this boss, whereas Lise is going to be very bad because she's vulnerable to the element the boss casts. Uh, so I'm going to take this and... Get that message! I will admit, the first time I saw this, it chilled my blood to the core. It was just like, I... okay. Oh, What a dick. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Completely reasonable. <laughs> They're like, nope, we ain't traded in anything. Alright, well, if we're gonna be a man a man down, we'd better heal up a little bit more. Oh, 
Yep. So now we have to go all the way back through the ghost ship, I think. Right. the The area where uh, where you got you got repelled by a strange force is now going to be open. And so this is going to be a lot less active for me because I am just going to be casting spells as I go. <laughs> Which you know I'm okay with. Little bastard. If you can, walk farther to the right and see if you can get more people on screen. Alright, fine. Don't worry about it. Got it. I'd be, I'd be more worried about that if I didn't, if I didn't take, like, two hits. A slime? Here? Really? Okay. Sure, I guess. Okay. Ooh, we've got Thunderstorm now. Yeah, Thunderstorm will, will be nice against the boss. His entire... Like, like his uh, his blurb in the in the manual is um, is strength evasion weakness white, which you know basically means I mean refers to his holy weakness. But we're not gonna have uh, any holy ball or anything because some people decided that Delvar was cool. We're naming no names. Entire thread. None of you. Boy, boy. Oh, uh, this is gonna get ugly for me. Oh god, they're eating me! I got it, I got it, I got it. I went down a little bit further than I had, uh, than I had wanted. Stay down! Ugh, oh my god. No respect. Not even from deadheads, no respect. Well, perhaps we should be respecting <coughs> them, because they are dead, right? Hell's bells! Oh, thank god. Oh, don't uh, open it. Yeah, no, I am not opening <laughs> that with, uh, without drink, without eating some chocolate first. <sighs> sure. We both know that if you hadn't healed, we would have got smoke on that. Oh yeah. Oh god, that's gonna be satisfying to see. Eat it! <laughs> Bleed and die. There we go. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute and let you fireball those guys. I think that's Actually, probably fair. Actually, matter of fact... Yes, we're spellcasters! <laughs> Exciting gameplay. <laughs> I'm not getting hurt. This is this is a nice change of pace for me. Uh, here they come. I don't know. See, I'm so used to switching to be able to cast Angela's spells that I do it automatically every time now. Even when I really don't need to. There we go. Wonderful. This is the door. Hey, hold on. I think there's something in that window. Oh yeah, this is cool. <laughs> I mean, for for a Super Nintendo game, the, this entire area does does horror pretty damn well. Yeah, especially given the limitations. It's just like they've done everything they can to make this as creepy as possible. Honestly, I'm just casting Diamond Missile now because it takes the least amount of time <laughs> to animate. Honestly, that has that has been my uh, my primary concern with with choosing with choosing stuff in like most of the games I play. Like it, like every Final Fantasy game after about seven, where where they they all just like want to play a full length frickin' movie. To, uh, to animate a spell, I'm just like whatever. I'll use I'll use only fire instead of fire because it'll it, because it'll take like ten like ten Ooh. minutes less. Right. Okay. This okay. Is a thing. So I am not happy about this thing. It's our incredibly effective tactic of me hiding behind you in a corridor. Uh, let's let's back up actually. 
Oh god, they're gonna get to you. Hey, you know, I underestimated how, uh, or I overestimated how quickly my casting time was. <sighs> and of course I didn't get that back goal. Yep, that one's just like, I'm gonna hang off screen so you can't hit me. Can I? Yes. Okay, why don't you just stay there a minute, buddy? We've got some presents for you. They'll be very nice. Ugh. Oh, are you still not dead? Jeez Louise! I think there was a third Give one. Give it up, dude! Hey, victory. Uh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Of oh, course. Gonna own. Oh, it's okay, fine. Just fine. run away. Yeah, no, I just we'll just run from that. That's okay. Uh, I do need some healing though. Zoom. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs>